Hey guys, how are you? How are you guys doing? Thank you so much for clicking on my channel. My name is Lauren and my YouTube channel is Nikki Disney Loving Mama and I'm so happy to have you here. It is so awesome and fantastic to be hanging out with you. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by and being with me and if you are a returning viewer and subscriber, it's just awesome and and just fantastic, fantastic, fantastic to have you come back again. And I truly hope you keep on coming back uh, every time I upload a new video. Uh, if you have not done so already, please like the video, please subscribe, leave me comments, uh, tell me what you thought of the video, tell me what's going on in your life, uh, tell me anything. I would just would love to read your comments. Um, and I would love so much to have your support um, in this wonderful journey of YouTube. So uh, truly, it would just mean so much to me if you subscribed. And if you have a YouTube channel, please let me know in the comments um, or any other kind of social media um, space, rather on TikTok or Instagram. Um, I would love so much to follow you guys and to support you um, in your journey and uh, to watch your videos and to see your pictures and to um, just to support you guys. I, I just would love to do that so much. So please leave me that information below as well in the comments. Um, yeah, and I just hope you're having an awesome day. And uh, again, my name is Lauren and my YouTube channel is Nikki Disney Loving Mama. Um, I don't know if I said that before in my other, like the, I don't, I could be repeating myself, so I apologize. <laughs> Didn't get a lot of sleep last night, so I'm like, oh. um, but I really wanted to film this video and uh, I'm really trying to make, to put an hour aside, or even not even a full hour, because that's a lot of time, but to at least put a half hour aside each day where I do stuff like just for me that makes me happy. Um, you know, besides obviously mom life and being with my boys because that's the, be like, the best feeling and the most important thing in my life and, and, and the people who I love the most and they make me the happiest. Um, but in addition to that, also putting some time aside that's just for me. Um, and I'm really trying to, to be more uh, active and more um, conscious and more uh, just more uh, have more intention towards that um, because I think it's so important that you know in addition to being with your kids and your job um, and all of the other day-to-day -day stuff that you love to do that you need to do that you want to do also really putting time aside just doing something that you love for yourself that makes you happy that brings you joy um, and for me, that's definitely filming and sitting down and making these videos with you guys and connecting with you and sharing in this wonderful passion of Disney and Harry Potter and motherhood and lifestyle and anything else um, I want to talk about with and uh, have it here and share it with you guys. So trying to do that more often. It's not going to happen every day. Um, it might not happen every week, but gonna try to do it as much as I can and when I don't feel about it when I don't do it I'm not gonna go through some negative you know depressed spiraling like oh my god like um, I'm not gonna do that so yeah um, but yeah that's just one of my new things that I'm really trying to get better at and to do just mentally for my for just just for me and I think for anybody I think for 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 any person it's it's so wonderful and important if you can uh, to do that um, and again I know it might not be uh, possible to do every day um, or even you know once a week but as as most as you can so that's what I'm trying to do and uh, yeah, so and let me know if you guys are, are also kind of trying to do that more and sometimes it's harder than other days and other weeks. Um, but uh, yeah, let me know if you guys are also kind of where I am with that. Um, yeah, let me know. And uh, leave me any other comments you guys wanna talk about, hear about. 
uh, share with me. I, I just love reading your comments so much. Uh, so always, always, always leave me comments or if you want to private message me on Instagram, my Instagram name is Mickey Disney Loving Mama. So always do that as well. I would love so much to become friends with you guys and to talk with you guys. So, um, yeah. So, and the other quick updates I also wanted to mention. Um, before I start, before we get into it. Uh, I think that's it. Normally I have like a whole 20 minute prolongue, or prolong, prologue. But I feel like, I feel like for today, we're good. I feel like for today, we're good. Also, side story. I usually have my like green light for my phone on the left side, but I put it on the right side today because I have to recharge my phone because my phone is dying and I'm not gonna have my phone die on me this time like I did last time and then I had to make two parts, which was crazy. Uh, so just out of habit, I'm such a creature of habit. Let me know if you are as well. Um, I might just look to the left side, which I apologize. I don't mean to not be looking at you. I don't mean to like be shifty or weird or not make this video like personal or not, or just be like weird and not having any kind of like attention or attending uh, capability. Um, I just out of pure uh, routine, the green light, like the camera lens or however you want to call it is, is always on the left side. So that's where I'm always usually looking but I put it on the right side. I flipped my phone and I put it on the other side, on the right side. So really gonna try to always be looking where I should be looking, but just out of habit, my brain and my eyes might just go to the left side on occasion. If I do that, I really apologize. I will try very hard for this duration of the video to not do that, but I'm sure it will happen. And if so, I really apologize. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, so in today's video, can you see it? Can you see it? The wizard's trunk, because not only do I love Disney, but I love Harry Potter too. And I really want to start doing more Harry Potter content and this uh, I was gonna say in this channel, in this video, in, blah, 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 in this chat, oh my god, on my channel because I love Harry Potter and I love doing Harry Potter unboxings. I love watching Harry Potter unboxings on YouTube. Um, I think it's so fun to see what uh, Harry Potter subscription boxes send to people. Uh, in addition to Disney, obviously, but I, I just, I, I definitely love getting Harry Potter subscription boxes and I love watching them on YouTube so I thought it would be a lot of fun to do this and we are going to be doing a triple unboxing yes my phone is char or not charged it's charging and I have an hour that's fully uninterrupted between now and two o'clock unless somebody rings my doorbell or something happens the next hour. I have nowhere else to be or nowhere else to go. Um, and we're gonna make this happen and I'm super duper excited and awesome and it's gonna be so much fun because I've never done this on my channel. And it's always so fun to do new stuff on any channel or, or space or, or anything new in life, period. Um, so yeah, and to just give a quick disclaimer, I paid with these boxes on my own. And also just quick backstory, these boxes are anywhere between four months to a year old. I don't know when I receive them, um, unless there's an actual dated invoice or something with the date in a particular box. I won't know which date um, and month it is from. And I don't remember which box is from when, unfortunately, because when I received these boxes, um, I had every intention and desire to sit down and film it right there and then. Um, but like I said in my uh, unboxing video from, uh, was it yesterday or even, or a few days ago? I don't even, I don't even remember. I don't even remember what I had for breakfast this morning. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
with the magic at your door unboxing. Um, and if you're new to my channel, just to give a quick uh, kind of a background story, um, I, I had every intention of doing these boxes uh, when they arrived to do unboxes, unboxing videos, but um, I've just had a lot of uh, stuff going on just with me personally, with my mental health, with family, with um, uh, anxiety, uh, which is something I'm really, you know, trying to, 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 to navigate through between therapy and possibly being put on medication as well. Um, I also uh, lost my son at 30 weeks this year, which was very, very unexpected and uh, uh, sudden. We were not um, that, that really came, um, you know, that was something incredibly hard and, uh, difficult to go through and we're still going through. Um, so, uh, and just, just mom life. I have a four-year-old and a seven-year-old. Uh, so I, I, I just wasn't able, as much as I wanted to and as much as I thought I would be, um, and as much as I planned, uh, and that's why I continue to be subscribed to these monthly boxes and have them be delivered each month. Uh, I just couldn't, and uh, I just wasn't in the space um, to uh, sit down and film. Uh, but I always, I always knew that I was going to at some point. So that's why I continued to save the boxes, and that's why I kind of push them aside in my basement where I have a huge <laughs> stack of boxes. Um, and, uh, and I knew I, and I, and, and I knew at some point and I wanted to at some point to, to film and share it with you guys. Um, so that's why I saved them and that's why I didn't uh, unbox them and open them on my own and not recording because even though these boxes are quite old and I don't even know when where when they are from, which month or even which year, if they're from last year even, um, I still think it's really fun to do any kind of unboxing video and to share it with you guys and to, to share what these incredible companies that I love so much, uh, um, to share that with you guys and to show these incredible items that these companies and owners ship out to their customers um, and the time and effort that they put into each box um, and, and a lot of boxes really go above and beyond to make you feel that, that true magic when you open that box uh, and to really make you feel like you aren't just some random number and you really are uh, you know a person and they really put a lot of time and effort and care into each box and I really want to share that with you guys. Um, and obviously a lot of these items in these boxes will not be available um, uh, to purchase or these, these, these boxes anymore because they are so old, obviously, they're not new. Um, but again, it's to me an unboxing is like an event and I know that's kind of a bit uh, extreme. <laughs> but it is, like to me, it is. Rather if it's a Disney box or, or a Harry Potter box, it's like opening a present, you know? It's just more enjoyable, it's more magical, it's more fun, it's just more of a happy, joyful uh, uh, experience when, when you're, you're doing it with, uh, when, you're, when you're doing it not alone. So, um, and I just love filming these unboxings and uh, yeah, so that's what we're gonna be doing going forward for any unboxing. Like I said, they're anywhere between four months to a year old. Uh, but we have a lot of boxes to go through, and when I can, we will. And um, I'm actually looking at boxes right at my table that my friend uh, sent me a long time ago that I wanna get to uh, next. <sighs> and I'm just, I'm just excited to show it because again, even though they're not items that you can't get anymore and they're such old boxes that aren't even available anymore, I don't know. I mean, it's not, not to say who cares about that, um, but it's it's not even about that, I guess. It's just about to show these incredible, beautiful boxes and to give people an idea of, of the quality of items that these incredible um, box companies uh, and owners send out. 
and uh, and again, I, I don't know, even I, I, I think um, I even I, I, I watched a YouTuber and uh, she basically wanted to unbox a whole bunch of like birthday presents that she got uh, even like 10 years ago and for whatever reason she just never got around to unboxing it. But when she started her YouTube channel, I don't even remember her name because I, 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 I it was a long time ago that I watched her. But she wanted to share that with with her viewers and her subscribers. Um, you know, these birthday presents that her family and friends got for her. Um, and that she also got from like Shop Disney and that kind of stuff. And I don't know, I think it's just it's just very magical to to share that with people and to let people be part of that and to really like document it and to record it. Um, it just makes it all the more exciting. Uh, and um, yeah, so that's how I feel. I don't know. <laughs> um, so yeah, so for anybody, basically anybody, if you have old boxes, rather they're from Disney subscription boxes or Harry Potter box companies or birthday presents from family or friends or gifts from Hanukkah, Easter, Christmas, anything, um, and you wanna start a YouTube channel and you wanna unbox them no matter how old they are, do it. I would say do it. Don't don't feel silly about it. Don't feel dumb about it. I think it's awesome. I think it's even more interesting. Um, and kind of, I, I love stuff that's kind of off the beaten path and, uh, and uh, a little more kind of uh, uh, different. So um, yeah. Uh, also, um, just to also say as well, I am no longer subscribed to the Wizarding Trunk or any other or any Disney or Harry Potter sub subscription box company. We had a couple of stuff happen to, we just had to uh, basically cut back financially on a lot of uh, stuff and uh, really cut back. Um, and I know that's a lot of people who, who struggle financially have to do that um, with Disney and Harry Potter or any subscription box company with any kind of spending, they have to really cut back and get tighter with their spending. So we had to do that for unforeseen and unexpected uh, situations. Um, so um, uh, I am no longer subscribed to them. And again, I did pay for these boxes when I was subscribed to their boxes um, months back. Um, so I don't know what they're currently offering. I don't know what, I haven't been on their, apps, their website recently. From what I can recall and from what I can remember, um, because I'm actually gonna be doing this right now, they have a wizard's trunk, um, the elderly box. And then they also have um, oh no, these are all the, these are all the owler, the owleries, 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 if I'm saying that wrong, I apologize, <laughs> but you know what I mean, you know what I mean, um, but I, I believe the, uh, or maybe, I'm trying to remember what their website what they what they're currently offering. I, I think they made changes where there may be where the number of times that they're sending out boxes has changed to versus like instead of every month it's like bi monthly or instead of bi monthly it's like a few like maybe just like a few times a year. I'm I'm not too sure but I feel like I got an email from them a while ago saying they, they were changing the their subscription uh, uh, shipping out dates and for when boxes are being shipped out. I could be totally wrong um, and getting mixed up with a different company. That could completely be the case. And if so, I apologize. If you are subscribed to the Wizarding Trunk, uh, let me know in the comments because I would love to know what they're currently doing um, in terms of their themed boxes and how often they ship out a year um, and all of that. And if they have different price points, I would love to know that. And any information I know, I will leave, I will leave um, below and also um, the, the link to them. Um, and again, because this is the first time I'm opening their boxes, I am super excited. And I have watched so many YouTubers unbox these boxes on YouTube. And, and I've gone on their website before. 
and I loved everything and that was why I signed up to be uh, subscribed to them to get their boxes um, they are amazing every video that I watched all of the items that I saw any person unbox was incredible I loved it all and I was very impressed with their website when I did go on a few months ago, unfortunately, again, I just, I don't know what they're offering now. And I, I feel like they changed some stuff around, but I could be wrong. Um, but from what I did, from, from what I did watch and see, uh, I was very impressed by and really loved. And I'm a massive Harry Potter fan. And I know this is one of the top Harry Potter subscription boxes that you could subscribe to uh, and I definitely wanted to jump on this with like both feet and subscribe to them a few months ago uh, and even a year ago so um, I was very excited to to get these boxes and now finally being able to share this with you guys so let's do it watch somebody's gonna randomly ring my doorbell right now <laughs> I have some unexpected someone at my door. God almighty. This looks kind of Halloween-y. So is this from Halloween last year? Could that be? Or maybe it's just Halloween-y and that's just like, they're, they're just kind of like a normal thing to do because it's, you know, witches and ghosts and all, the, all of that. So I'm not even too sure. I am super excited and these boxes are by the way amazing I will I save these boxes I, I have heard that what is it loot crate boxes or no lid joy lid joy has incredible boxes um and I think all of these beautiful boxes that these Harry Potter or subscription box companies send out are just stunning and I kind of want to use them I know this might sound really crazy but I kind of want to use them for like display boxes. Like I'll put them on my floor and then maybe put some of the figurines that um, I got or like the potions that I got on them. Ooh, okay, I'm excited. Salem Sisters, October 31st, 1992. Oh my God, this is incredible. First thing I'm seeing amazing oh my god this is so incredible I love this Ooh, and I love if you guys know me I've said this many many times I love getting t-shirts the Salem Sisters, the Hollow's Eve tour. Oh my God. So this is like a faux like um, t-shirt that you were get at a concert. And if you guys are watching this and you already got this in a box, let me know which month this was from because I would love to know. How old is this box? <laughs> because I don't know but I love it I love getting t-shirts I am such a, like a lover for any kind of apparel except for socks socks I'm not too crazy about but I love and when they have like fake kind of faux um like staff shirts or when you go to like a concert and they're kind of like it's kind of like a like um uh like a like a shirt like you would be getting at this concert I love that with the, oh my God, I just realized that the guitar is a broom. Oh, I love that. And it's very soft, very soft. Is this 100% cotton? I feel like it is. Extra large, you. Yeah. Where's my extra large girls? My ladies, this is very soft. Okay, so next thing is a keychain. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. This is amazing. 
This is great. Skeleton. I love keychains. I love them. I have a cup, like a decorative cup that I have in my closet that I have of them. Blood suckers. What is this? Look at this, guys. Oh my goodness. Ugh. Is this candy? Oh, it is. So just red lollipops, which I love. I have a huge sweet truth, sweet tooth. Blood suckers. Oh, oh, oh. That is very, very cool. With the bat in the middle. Very like horror movie, like Dracula, right? And I think that's how they wanted it to look. Very Dracula. Very cool. And I love any kind of sweet. So I'm very happy about that. Okay, we have a box. Just a box. When I mean a box, I mean a box. <laughs> a box! What's in the box? What's in the box? I love that movie. Oh my goodness, I am loving this. I am loving this. Get out of here. Oh my God, yeah. Oh, I love anything dark and creepy and just very, I do. I love anything like dark and with like skeletons and Halloween-ish and just anything dark like that. I love, oh my God, this is beautiful. And this is really good quality too. This is beautiful. This will definitely be a beautiful display piece. I will put somewhere very excited about that and I think this is the last item or am I incorrect and there's more I could be wrong see I brought a scissor this time usually I forgot and then I have to leave you guys for a minute but not this time mask oh my god it's an actual mask oh wow can I do this right now or am I gonna totally mess this up and I'm gonna need my husband to do this possibly I feel like I don't know what to do here I'm gonna totally mess it up let's see let's see we're gonna see guys, hold, hold please, hold. Let's see, let's see. Hold, it's coming guys, it's coming, I promise, let's see. I'm gonna see if I can be a, a DIY person right now because I don't even know if I'm doing it the right way. This could, I feel like this could even like, oh yeah. Well, it's a mask. <laughs> it's a mask. Oh, yeah. And I would use this as like a beautiful decorative piece. Like, could I even put it right here? Does it actually stand up? Oh, it does. It stands up beautifully. Look at that. Oh, it kind of looks like a bird or um, like a bat even from like a fall. Like, it doesn't even... But look at that. Oh, I love that here. It's just like that. That is amazing. Oh, I love that. That is incredible. I love that. And that's good quality. Yeah, let me show it to you guys. Because you want to see it, right? You want to see it. Look at that with like the bone and the cracks and the skull and the ridges. 
That is amazing. Uh, <laughs> that is amazing. Wow, I love that. That is incredible. Yes! Oh, there's more. There's more. Never mind. There's more. There's way more. Okay, never mind. There's actually way more. I, th I thought I was done. I was going to say moving on to the next box. Nope. She thought wrong. Oh, this is beautiful. I can already tell. I'm going to fill up. What the heck? Something wicked this way comes. So with notes in the gold... And this is something that you could frame or just have, you know, put in a, in a beautiful decorative box. This is beautiful. Something wicked this way. Double, 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 toil and trouble. Fire burn and cauldron bubble. Oh my God, I love this. That is amazing. And then this. Ooh, magic, most evil, magic, most evil. So this is their evil box. It's not even really Harry Potter. Like, I feel like this is, maybe this was more of just like a Halloween, like evil kind of demons, uh, witch box. This is amazing. That could be too. Wow. That is incredible. Incredible. Oh my God, there's so much stuff here. What is going on here? Wow. A beautiful pen. This says it's an Wizarding Trunk exclusive. So only from, if you get the box, you could have get this pen. Now, as I've said before, I'm not the biggest pin person. Oh, this is her, why am I getting, here I'm saying like, oh, it's not Harry Potter, it's more like a Halloween evil demon box. I am i don't know where my head is sometimes. I, I say things without speaking, I swear. This is Harry Potter, oh my God. I am such a, a doofus sometimes, I don't know. I don't know where my mind goes, guys. I, I just like, <laughs> My brain, this doesn't exactly work the way it should be working sometimes. These are beautiful. So yeah, so I'm not the biggest pin person. I know it's, I feel like I'm like, I don't, I, I haven't met anybody in, in, in this whole community that does not love pins, but I don't know. It's just not something that really like grabs me. Um, but they are beautiful and I do have a little mug where I do put my pins that I do get. Um, so I'll, I'll put them there. So yeah, I do love getting candles. This is Troll Bogies. Bogies. Oh my God. So this is an actual, I thought it was, <laughs> I'm such a doofus. This is not a, can I don't know why I thought this was a candle. I mean, from the looks of it, you would just think it would be a candle. I didn't even stop to read it. But it's just troll bogies. I have such bad eyesight. Can I read this? It says aloe vera, vitamin E, vanilla. I can't read that. Oh my God. Uh, sweet orange essential oil. So it's just supposed to be like fun, like fun slime. Okay. Ooh, to kind of replicate the troll bogies. I love that. That is awesome. I don't want to take it out because I want to keep it in. But that is just, oh my God, that is awesome. And it really does look like like troll bogies. And I love how like fun and silly these items can be too. That is awesome. I don't know why I said it was in Harry Potter. I, I honestly, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I've, I apologize for that comment. Obviously, this is a Harry Potter box. I don't know why. I don't know. I scare myself sometimes with like what I say. <gasps> I love getting any kind of potion replica. Oh my God. Get out of here. The way they, they make these is just so 
stunning. Oh my God. Can you see it? I don't know if it's picking up on my phone. That is breathtaking. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. That is gorgeous. I love that. I love getting any kind of like potion, like replica at all. I love, I love. Wow, this is amazing. Death Day Party with music by Ghostly Musical Saw Orchestra. Defresher is provided, rotten fish, charred cake, maggoty haggis, moldy cheese. Wow. The detail. And they're even skulls, can you see it there? Or even skulls. Wow. That is amazing. And you even have like a flyer. The Enchanter. Wow. And this is kind of like a flyer that you get. The Witch. That's a very awesome keepsake. It says. Um, exclusive Enchanted Jack o Lanterns Attack, page six, page six, exclusive ghoul sightings across the UK. That is amazing, just to show you what it looks like inside a couple of pages. That is an awesome keepsake. My seven-year-old Ryder will love this. He will go nuts for this. He, he will love that. That is awesome. And then, oh my God. Look how awesome that is. I'm going to save these in this box. That is amazing. Vile Encantum, Poisons, Curse, Curiosities, Troll Bogies, Slash Portrait, All Hollows Eve, Ghost Giggles, Broom Vroom, Bradley Brothers, Instant Brew, Oh my God, and they have a troll magical creatures um, page that's supposed to look like it was cut out. And the troll bogeys and the thunderbird. Oh my God. When it comes to food, trolls are not picky. Look at the, the illustration and the detail. That is exquisite. Oh my goodness. That is incredible. That is amazing. That is incredible. I am very happy with that. Wow, and that's everything. That is amazing. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That is incredible. I am very happy with that. That is amazing. That's incredible. All right, guys. Next one. That's a lot of items for one box. Oh, another t-shirt. I think they always have t-shirts in their boxes, I'm assuming. That's what it looks like, which I am not disappointed about. So this is the Potions Club. And again, I don't know which box or what theme or what uh, month this is from, but Potions Club on the back. Very, very safe. I mean, very safe, very soft. Really soft, really soft. I love that. Okay, let's get into it, guys. Brass Scale. Is this also candy? Let's see. Ah. 
Oh, this is also, oh wait, no, what is this? Oh no, what is this? Oh, it's supposed to be a scale. Oh, and then you put it together like this, see? I'm a doofus, I'm like, I don't know what this is. And then it literally says in the box, you idiot, draw a scale. <laughs> I don't know where my brain goes sometimes. That is cool. All right, there's a lot of stuff in this box, guys. Oh my God. <gasps> I love this. Oh my God, look how beautiful this is with the colors. The yellow, the green, the pink, the red, the orange. I wouldn't even care what the label said. I would just want a bottle of this. This is beautiful. Alchemy for the skin. And it looks like a real, like, it gives you kind of like directions on how to take it and how you would take it as if it were to be a real medicine and something that you could put on your skin to make it, you know, it's, it's amazing what these companies do to have these replicas and to make it, to make you feel like you're really opening a wizard's trunk of goodies. That's amazing. Okay, black lace wing flies. Is this just literally, wait, can I open this? Or is this just supposed to be like a, oh wait, I don't think you're, a... can you open this? Or is this supposed to be, I don't know. Is this supposed to be like a little decorative thing that you're supposed to open? Cause it's kind of hard to open, but it just says black lace wing flies. I'm gonna keep it closed because I can't exactly open it unless I'm being like a complete, again, I'm probably being a complete dude. Oh wait, you can open it. Oh, here we go. Oh my God, that's awesome. And they look like real, ooh, I hate bugs. They look like real little buggies. Ooh, that is awesome. I love it. They really make you feel like you're opening like a real like goodie box for a wizard. That's awesome. Okay, bone. Bone apothecary. Is this gonna be another beautiful kind of potions thing? Cause I love, just give me like a bottle of any kind of potions bottle. And I am very, very content. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. That is amazing. And again, if you were watching this and you got this in one of your boxes, let me know. Because I would love to know what month this was from. That's the box that it came in. That is awesome. That is really cool. That is I am loving this. I am happy that I subscribed to this and that I have these beautiful keepsakes to have. Oh my God, there's two in here. What? What is this? Oh no, it came undone. Wait, I'm supposed to be doing like doing something here, like a DIY thing. Gilly tonic, an aid to underwater breathing. Oh wow. Okay. I'm really loving the artwork for that. That is beautiful. And then let's see what it says here. Wait, there's something else. So I think I'm supposed to put that in that big bottle. Well, that's my Alexa always. Put the green tonic for breathing underneath the water. And then the bag has this like, is it like stuff to put in? Oh, it's supposed to be like seaweed. That's really cool. I don't know if you can see in there, that's supposed to be like the seaweed in there. And they have like little, like stuff, I don't know if you can see. Here, I'll mix it up. to be like real like underwater tonic. 
And then I guess you put it in a bottle. But then how does the, what I don't understand is how does this, ah, don't fall. How do you make this stick? Unless it's like a sticker, am I just being retarded? Again, very, very good possibility. But then how do you get this to stick? Because I really like this. Am I retarded? Come on. How do you get this to stick? I mean, I guess I could always use scotch tape. I feel like this is a sticker, but it's just not coming off. Okay, it's just not, I'm, I, I have very bad fingers and like, um, like nails. My nails are very weak. They're not very strong, which just basically shows that I need to have like more vitamin E on my nails and drink more water. They're really, really bad. Um, so I'll just use like tape to put on that little glass bottle. But then can you open it? Oh, you can. Um, <laughs> I'm a retard. The way you can open it. That's really cool. All right, I'm going to do that after. I'm excited. All right, another pin. This is Snape, and this is a wizard truck, trunk, truck, trunk exclusive. Um, again, not the biggest pin fan, so I'm not like super excited when I get them, but I, they're still beautiful. I still appreciate them for their beauty. And this is a gorgeous pen, so I will definitely be adding that to my pen collection, collection because one day, you never know, maybe one day in a couple of years, I might totally turn around and be like, yeah, I really love pens right now. It could be, I don't know. Okay, this is another kind of fun replica. There's so much stuff in these boxes. I wasn't expecting this. Oh. What the heck? Oh, it smells good. It doesn't smell bad. Armadillo Bio? Orange Blossom Squeezable Wax Melts? Oh my God, that's funny. Oh, I love these little tiny like replicas of like liquids and potions and smelling salts and candles. I love that. And the stuff they, that they come up with is so cool. Okay, this looks massive. What is this? What is this, guys? What am I doing here? Oh my God. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I see you, I see you. Very cool. Loving this. I don't have anything like this at all in my collection at all. And that's very, very, very cool to have. Like a, like a cauldron for potions. Very cool. Very cool. Oh my god, oh, don't fall. Okay. And then another, oh, that's for the candle that you're supposed to put on the cauldron. That is really cool here. I'm going to actually do it right now. Don't forget and before I lose it. Ah. There we go. I put it in. That's very cool. Ugh. Sorry for that nasty face. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to see that. <laughs> and I think that's it for that box. Oh, wait, no, there's one. God, there's so much. <gasps> Can you guys see that? I don't know, because I feel like the plastic. And I want to see what these pens actually have. These are beautiful. I would love to see, like, behind the scenes on how they actually make these boxes. That's gorgeous. What is that? That's a skull and a po God almighty. That is beautiful. Can you guys see a skull and a potion bottle? Wow. Wow, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. I love that. Oh wait, God, there's one more. There's so much. That is beautiful. Can you guys see? Maybe I should take it out. I feel like the plastic just really does not 
do it justice. Oh my goodness. I mean, see, like the plastic really hinders it so that you can't see the, the beauty of these items. I think that's just like a fun little decorative piece. It's not an actual keychain, but it's just something fun to have. That's beautiful. And it's very well made. It's, it's like not like cheap. Because I feel like in so many boxes, or not so many, but in a few of these boxes, they're really, they're not really put well together. And they're kind of cheap. Okay, so this is the pre preparation of Gilly Tonic. When brewed properly, this, this tonic will allow you to breathe underwater for a limited amount of time. So this is the actual like directions to make it. Like you would be Willie Harry Potter. I love this. This is so fun to have as a beautiful keepsake. If you really are into like collecting Harry Potter um, items and replicas, and I definitely am down for that. I love that. That is so cool. Oh, and then it gives a description of what the items are. So like Potions Club t-shirt, Cauldron Wax Warmer, Armadillo Bile Wax Melts, Portrait Pen, Potion Storeroom Key, Potions Class Print, Wolfbane Recipe, uh, recipe Page, Black Lace Wing Flies, Bone Potion, Living Death Pen, uh, Gilly Tonic DIY Kit, The Vintage Brass Scale, and Calming Drought Bath Potion. That is amazing. Wow. I mean, so far, Going by these past boxes, I would highly recommend these boxes. And again, I don't know what they offer now. I don't know what they've changed. I don't know what they're offering now. But these past boxes, I am very impressed. These are beautiful. Preparation of the Wolf's Bane Potion. Like, that's incredible that they come up with that. I don't know, I, I'm, I'm very blown away. I mean, maybe other YouTubers are like, this is crap, I don't like this. And again, we all have our different you know, perspectives and opinions, which is you know, something I love and I think we should really respect that. Um, but me personally, if you're watching my video, I would highly recommend this. This is gorgeous. The colors. This is beautiful. I'm very impressed. That was the second box. I'm very impressed and I'm actually gonna be keeping these boxes because these boxes are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. They really look like a trunk. These are beautiful. Okay, last box. Oh my God, so much. So many items. Ugh. Okay, caution, no swimming, no feeding, beware. This is the forest of the grounds. And it just gives you a description. Okay, now I get it. This is a description of all of the items that are to be in your box. So we got um, a book cover, unicorn blood, oh my lord. Um, a to Z binders, a willow print, a whistle, forest map. Let's get into it. I'm so excited. Okay, let's get in. This must be the map. Ugh. Oh wow. It's two things. Ah. This is stunning. I can already tell just by looking a little bit at it. This is I I, I might frame this. This is beautiful. What does it have here? A giant spider, unicorns, mermaids, Ford, the Ford truck. Um 
Harpy. Oh my God, the three-headed dog. This is beautiful. And this looks like a real like vintage map. It says the dark forest. I am very impressed by this. This is amazing. This is incredible. The hippogriff, the centaur, the giant spider nest. I mean, this is amazing. And the coloring of it, it really looks like a, like a vintage map. I'm loving that. And then this is just a beautiful um, artwork piece. The, carn the carnivorous trees and plants. This is beautiful. I like the orange and the purple and the gold and the red and the green. That is gorgeous. Ooh, <laughs> that just kind of snapped closed. Oh my God, this is beautiful. This is, this might be my favorite item in the box. This is gorgeous. Oh my God, that is gorgeous. You guys want to see it a little better? Oh my God, that is gorgeous. I don't want to lose that. That is beautiful. Okay. What's in here? It's not labeled. Oh, yes, it is. It says greenhouse number three. Never mind. Never mind. Whoop, go back. <gasps> I wanted one of these so badly, and now I finally have one. God, I wanted one of these so badly. And now I finally have one. I am so excited. I wanted one of these like replicas or like any kind of, uh, any, any kind of replica for this. And I finally have one. I am so excited. Oh my God. We took my son to the Franklin Institute. They had a Harry Potter replica. Um, exhibition there um, that I think only went for I think a few months it's not like a permanent exhibition and we took him there and it was incredible it was so much fun I posted some pictures on my Instagram if you wanted to see insect bomb Ooh. no thanks <laughs> I think I'll, I'll keep my lips out of this and my fingers out of it, but that is very cool and it smells good. Oh my God, that does smell good. For insect balm, the balm, the balm. That is very cool. That is very, very cool. I love those fun little stuff they add like that. I would highly recommend this box. I'm very pleased with this, and I actually have more boxes to open. Um, ooh, oh no. Oh, that kind of stinks. Oh, it kind of was leaking out. I need to get a paper towel, guys. Oh, I think because the wax melted, because it, again, it's been in there for so long. It's all right, if I were to wash it, and then run it under, I think because like the wax or maybe the way it was just sitting, because it's been sitting in there for, I think this might, this might've been one of the boxes that I haven't, that I haven't opened. And it's been sitting downstairs in my basement for a year or even close to over a year. So that could be why this got all liquidy and began to melt and kind of seep out a little bit. But I can fix it because I love this. All right, I'm gonna put this back in here but, and it kind of, like, I don't know if you can tell in my hands that I got a little wet. I think it just began to come out a little bit because it's been sitting in my box for so long, which is my fault. That's not the wizard's fault. That's not their fault at all. 
That's my fault because these boxes have just been sitting for so long that it's bound to happen. <gasps> this might be my, fi my favorite box right here because I've always wanted this truck, this truck, oh my God, this car as a replica. So this might be my favorite box out of all of the three. Let me know what your favorite box is because I've always wanted this replica. That is amazing. I've always wanted this. This is incredible. That's my favorite box out of all the three because I've always wanted that car and that just brings such joy to my heart. Oh my God, this is, okay, this is my favorite box. I'm sorry. The tree, yes, please. This is gorgeous. Does it say the artist who did this? Is there like a specific art, artist that they work with? Let me know if you know that. Because unfortunately, there's not a ton that I know about this company. So I don't know like if they have artists that they work with or that they do like deals with. So I don't know. Let me know if you know, but this is stunning. And I will definitely frame this. That is gorgeous. Magical creatures A to Z. Um, yes, please. Do I need a scissor to get into this? I think so. Hold. Oh, that's so cool. That's beautiful. Can you see guys? I mean, what they have here. The magical creatures. The artwork is, is just stunning. Oh my God. That is amazing. And then I think we have a couple of more pens. Yep, we got a pen. Oh, wow. This I gotta show you out of the thing. My hands are all sticky from the unicorn blood. <laughs> that did not sound right. But you know what I mean. That is gorgeous. Oh my God. I mean, I can see why so many people love pens. I can see that. It's not like I don't understand that. I can really see that. I, I don't know. I don't know. Oh wow, is this a necklace? Did it get all wrinkled? Probably because it's been sitting. But can you guys see it? What is it? all black. I don't know if you guys can make it out. Do you see it? Uh, let me know if you can see it a little bit. I think it's the unicorn. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. I think this is my favorite box. Is that all? I think there's one more. Is that another necklace? Oh my lord. Oh wait, no, there's two more. Two more things. Is there something in here? What is this? Oh, that's so cute. The mandrake. Oh my god, that is amazing. The things that they come up with. Is that everything? I think that's everything. Wait, no, hold on guys. There's a lot in these boxes. Your money goes a long way. Wow. So we have these beautiful things that I think they include in every one of their boxes. The magical creatures and introduction to otherworldly beasts. These are just beautiful keepsakes to have with the beautiful writing, the centaur, just kind of giving information about it. 
And then the dogs, the dog beast, as my seven-year-old calls it, the dog monsters. And like real information, considered to be very prideful creatures, like it goes on. And then look at this, oh my, ooh! Okay, the other side terrifies me, but I will show you guys because I love you guys so much, but this is something that I actually might not wanna keep. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like spiders. I'll give this to my seven-year-old. I love that. But that is awesome. Last keepsake of this box. What is this? Is this a necklace? This is my favorite box. I loved all of them, but if I had to pick a favorite box, this is it. Okay, it might not be a necklace. I don't know. Oh, wait. It's the whistle. That is so flippin' awesome. Hello, do you see me up close? I see you up close. <laughs> oh my God, that is awesome. That is my favorite box. Oh, that one did not include a t-shirt though. So maybe not all of them do include t-shirts, so never mind. Here I said, oh, I guess all of them include t-shirts. So some of them don't, um, which is fine. I, I mean, two t-shirts and all of the other items that I got, I would highly recommend this box service. I, again, I don't know what they offer now, but I would still reach out to them. I loved every item. Um, very pleased this was awesome and i still have more to unbox with you guys um more um wizarding trunk videos and lit joy and loot crate i believe i have a few um and yeah this was awesome like this was like a heavy 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 harry potter unboxing and i loved it now i really want to go and watch harry potter now that's all i want to do this was awesome wow Wizarding trunk, wizarding trunk. Incredible, amazing. Wow. Wow, amazing, incredible, phenomenal. Love them all. That is great. Let me know if you guys are, are uh, subscribed to, to them or any other Harry Potter uh, box or if you're thinking about it, let me know. Let's talk about Harry Potter. Harry Potter is awesome. Let me know if you have a favorite movie or book series. Um, this was amazing. Have a fantastic day, you guys. What a fun video. What a fun, awesome unboxing. I can't wait to do more Harry Potter with you guys. This is so fun. And thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and seeing all of these great items. Have a fantastic day. And I will see you uh, later. I'll see you in the future. <laughs> Bye, guys.